This is my prototype of a very small volumetric display. It's got an LED matrix at the top, a bunch of electronics underneath, IR sensor, a LUR 2450 battery in the middle, and then the motor from a CD drive at the bottom. The problems you normally encounter with building a volumetric persistence of vision display are things like bushings and slip rings. How do you get the power and data to the moving parts? And I've avoided all of that just by spinning everything, even the motor and the battery. Here's a static test image, or test volume. It's just a janky low-resolution wireframe cube. But as I rotate it, you can see it genuinely is a 3D display. Next up, we can animate it. Just rotating the cube in the awkward plane. And next we've got uh, fluid simulation. This is pre-rendered. It's Manta Flow. Just some glowing liquid sloshing, sloshing about in a cylindrical container. And it's not very high resolution, but it proves the concept. It works. I had planned to machine a heavy weight to go at the bottom, but so far this laser-cut bit of Delwin seems to be doing just fine. It's no coincidence that this is roughly the size and shape of a tea light candle. The original idea was to build a virtual candle with a holographic flame that could be seen from any angle. Well, this is my first attempt. Oh. This is my first attempt at a flame simulation and I need to tweak the parameters a bit. Currently it looks less like a candle and more like a very small bonfire. I won't deny this is a very satisfying result for what is a hastily thrown together prototype. I honestly wasn't expecting it to work at all. For the next version I'll put all of the electronics on a circuit board and fix the battery holder. You can see I've had to add a rubber band to stop it flying out while the thing is spinning. Uh, we can make the display higher resolution, just add more LEDs, but the main improvement will be if we can get those LEDs centered. You see, each voxel is illuminated twice as it rotates, but it's quite hard to get those illuminations to line up. Uh, we need those LEDs to be on the center line, but instead the board holding them is on the center line. So if we just shift that over, that should correct for it, but in that situation it then becomes quite unstable as it rotates. So I think it should be enough to just add a weight to balance it, but whether adding a weight at the base is going to compensate for an instability at the top remains to be seen. In the process of filming this video, I've twice dropped this thing on the floor, and the LED alignment gets worse every time I glue it back together. It's just so tempting to hold it in your hands while it runs, though. Maybe it needs some kind of transparent cover that would protect it. It'd look a bit like a Nixie tube. I 
As always, there's more information on my website, mitzella.com.